In times of crisis, it is important for us to check in on one another and how about care for one another? Miles McPherson, senior pastor at the Rock Church. <laughs> Your smile, like it takes up the whole entire screen, <laughs> Pastor Miles. Hey, Shally, I'm on my phone today, so I'm going, I'm going ghetto style. That's okay. Hey, as long as we can hear you, we see that smile of yours, I will, I will take it. Uh, <laughs> you, you know, this is a time so many of us are just separated and we don't see everybody the way that we used to. How important is it to just pick up that phone right now and, and call somebody that you haven't spoken to? I can tell you that there's some friends I haven't talked to, Pastor Miles, in like five months. Yeah, you know, I, we had a staff meeting the other day and we have over 150 staff or whatever it is. Then thank God, you know, we all still have jobs and we're looking at people losing their jobs left and right. Um, and I was just telling them I miss them. I mean, I was seeing faces I hadn't seen in months. And it, it, is, it, is, it can be discouraging, but it is important that I pick up the phone, do, do FaceTime, do Zoom. And, you know, you can still meet people and, and be, you know, keep your social distance, et cetera. Uh, but, you know, my heart goes out to the people losing their businesses, the people who are really suffering um, because of the, the pandemic and all the shutdowns. And I, I want to encourage people, and I've said this several times on some of these interviews, that let's not let a good crisis go to waste. And I say good because it's extreme. And this thing is just dragging out and there's no end in sight that we take advantage to really seek God with our heart. And I was reading something that I want to read to you okay? because it has to do with humbling yourself. And it said, it does no harm if you place yourself beneath, beneath everyone else. It does you great harm though, if you place yourself above even one other person. A person who is humble and always at peace is always at peace, but a proud person carries a heart filled with envy and resentment. And what a great time to s slow your life down and say, listen, let me really get do a gut check on who I am, what I'm about, and how can I humble myself before God and, and obviously practically before other people. Yeah, I know. I mean, this, this, this hits me like right here because when you're around those people that elevate themselves and they do feel humbled, you feel good around them, you feel at peace around them. When it's vice versa, it's just, it, it's such a bad feeling. And especially right now that so many of us are already, whether we want to say it out loud or not, we're struggling. Exactly. And it's, and it's not even, you know, when you humble yourself, it's not only uh, what you're doing in the, in, the, in the view of the other person, but it's a, a condition of the heart. It's a posture of the heart. And, and when you humble yourself with four people, it's really just an act of being, being humble. Uh, it facilitates you letting go of the pursuits of the world and all the things we, we grew up to try to pursue, you know, wealth and houses and all kinds of stuff. Listen, we need all those things. But when we can say, God, I just surrender, the peace of God will protect your heart. And that's what a lot of people are feeling anxious about. It's like, how am I gonna eat? How am I gonna take care of my family? And when you can release that pressure and that burden to God, uh, it's gonna help people get through this time. And then we're gonna see, you'll see God uh, act in your work in your life. Pastor Miles, there might be people watching right now that say, meh, I, I got nothing to say. I, I don't think I have anything to say. What would you suggest to them? They don't have anything to say or? Yeah, they don't have anything to say. They don't, they don't feel like they have anything to, to share. They're good. Hey, you know, if you're good, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I, I'm not trying to create, but I, I would say this, if you're good and you feel encouraged, Share that with somebody else because there are a lot of people who are not good and there are a lot of people who are worried and stressed out. And so don't hoard it to yourself. Be a giver and go encourage somebody else. So everything good we have, we got from God. And we can say, well, I got my job. Well, how did you get the opportunity and the skill to have your job? You know, when I play football uh, for the Chargers, I didn't create that ability and that opportunity. And so if you're good, share it with somebody else and spread the love and spread the wealth. That's what I would say tell you it's so contagious it's so contagious you came on that look at that smile. so you started smiling look what happened i started smiling and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger hey, Charlie, 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 you, 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 you got my video from my wife and i right 
I <laughs> opened up, I mean, I know this is like a long story, but I, I got a text message from Pastor Miles over the weekend, and it was from him and his wife, and it that's just, just... That's just us, between us girls, right? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you just made my day. But see, that's what you call... When you call sharing, right, I least expected it. And all of a sudden, you just turned my whole entire day all the way around. That's what's called about sharing. That. I don't know about that. I think you would do a fine. <laughs> you are the best. Pastor Miles, always good to see you. You can watch a new episode of Rock Your City with Pastor Miles on Sunday. It's at 9 in the morning. It's right here on Fox 5. He just has such a great way of making things better. Humble yourself. Humble yourself, Miss Fritzy Rousseau. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh, we are, that, that good, that's a good start for sure.